Cool. Up and running. Right. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. <clears throat> I should have cleared my throat before starting, eh? <clears throat> How rude of me. But anyway, welcome back to Joyless Gaming and Fallout 4, our ongoing survival quest. Nice Strong stages. Defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, though. Yeah, fuck Preston. Um. Right. Yeah, I want to continue doing this. So we're going back to Vault 88 via Hallucigen Inc. Um, mole rat disease, yeah. Yay. I always wanted mole rat disease. Wait a minute, why have I got... Keep the jumpsuits, I've got to put this combat armor leg away. Seems like the kind of thing I should have done last time. Um, I may not even need to keep it though. Combat armor. Eight and eight. Right, like. Nine and nine. So the one that's in there is already a better one. Ugh. Um, I cleared my radiation last time, so that's all good. All right now, let's uh, eat up. Boosted my max action points. This means I get I get more stamina to run around with. It's useful outside of combat. I do believe I have to get to like the high high thirties before I can get the next armor and gun nut. Yeah, thirty nine. But that'd be really good because when I'm at armor level four, I can craft the max level ballistics weave. And it'll feel a lot better when I can do that. I could craft a high level one now, but I don't want to waste the uh, materials. As long as I try to remain stealthy. But yeah, ballistics weave and combat armor. Especially once you get to heavy combat armor. I prefer combat armor over the other armors because it is balanced between both things. I know generally you're gonna... certain areas you're gonna encounter more of one type of damage than the other. Well, you never know, sometimes you've come across enemies with energy weapons and you need the energy resistance, but that's, yeah. That's why I prefer the combat armor. You just sort of keep it. I missed. Oh no, I killed. Raiders. You two okay? Yep.
pretty sure they're low level enemies that are going to keep respawning in this area. iterated as to why I don't really like power armor. It's mostly the power part. I like being able to carry more, I like having decent defenses, but <sighs> thing is, yeah, wearing power armor doesn't add on to what you're currently wearing as your regular armor, it just replaces it, which means that while you can carry more while wearing power armor, it's not like you can carry even more because you're also using all of these deep pocketed mods, or I'm always using deep pocketed mods. I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I always um, go for deep pocketed and carry shit. But, um, yeah, it, despite the fact that fusion cores are all over the place. They are still somewhat limited and you'd have to keep buying them. And you really want to take the, uh, the nuclear physicist or whatever perk just to increase the duration on them. But So that's one of the major downsides of power armor, the fact that it now actually requires power. But also that it needs to be repaired all the time. It's like they took out all of this stuff that people didn't like of having to constantly repair clothing and weapons and stuff. So much so that in and uh, Fallout New Vegas they came up with a perk to make it easier to repair things. So you can repair the same type of guns with the same type of guns. And you could re repair all light armor with any other light armor or clothing, and medium armor with medium armor, and heavy armor with heavy armor. But um, it doesn't really make sense to, you know, to take away that need to repair stuff all the time, and then put it back on something that you apparently want people to be using a lot because you've got all these customization options for power armor and everything. But it's it's not really the best option. You have to keep repairing it. It just takes steel, I know, but to keep repairing it, you have to keep it powered. And the modifications you can put on it don't really outweigh the downsides as far as I'm concerned. Because I don't think you can even sneak in power up, or if you can, it's you do get a penalty. I've never really tried it. I thought, well, I'm wearing power armor, why bother? Of course, the only time I actually have worn power armor is with a character who's much higher level and hard to kill already, so... <laughs> so it... So on that playthrough, I was doing Far Harbor, and I just kept on running out of... I got over-encumbered. I was running out of carry space constantly. And so I thought, okay, well, there was a suit of power armor there. I'm just going to have to wear it so I can carry all this extra stuff. Because like in this playthrough, if you've seen, I pick up a lot of stuff that I can use for crafting. So I end up uh, needing quite a lot of carry space. Raiders have probably respawned outside here. So 
So maybe that must be because of the. Uh, I haven't. That's respawned the enemies in there, and now it doesn't count as the area being cleared anymore. Where's the body? Oh, there he is. Metal armor. No. Not terribly interested in metal armor. Not anymore. I'm getting better bits of combat armor. Coca-Cola. I suppose I should be glad that the uh, super mutants here don't respawn. Because that would kind of suck. Probably that. I saw something move across the bottom of the screen. Probably that raven. The Lucigen. Strength and agility. Oh, that's what I'm currently wearing is dirty army fatigues. I'm pretty sure clean armor fatigues, uh, uh, army fatigues actually do the same thing though. Some bottles, it's always useful. The record, I keep picking up leather stuff because I always seem to need leather for crafting certain types of mods. Okay. Wait, what what does that mean again? Is that a dangerous thing? I think it means danger. It's one of those railroad things. Okay. That's a strange word for somebody to say these days. Say dirty water or drugged water? It's a drugged water. Bloody hell. I've never been in here before.
A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. These are weeks. Well, when did this leak take place? Because this is... I'm going to take this drugged water just for fun. Legendary, oh bugger off. Surveyor outfit. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Truly at. <laughs> I'm sure I've already got one of those, but anyway. Cement. I don't think I want to start picking up cement. How much inventory space do I have? None. <laughs> Great. I evacuate the building. Reached my limit. No way I could pick this. I'm worried. As I saw talk of a... Uh, Robots. Oh, I'm not. A chemical leak has been detected. Please 
evacuate the building. Well, that worked. I think I can drop that. Actually, I can probably drop that laser pistol too. That's the front door. Not that it was going to hurt me, because it couldn't go off, because I've got perks. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Hmm. Okay, so that was basically the right way to go. But which I mean is the only way to go. It's amazing that despite all of my uh, sneaking perks, I'm still... Hey. 
so easily detected. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Loss of 1.8 billion. Oh, they were trying to make like riot suppression. Okay. It's pleased to report a third quarter revenue. Okay. What did they What did they do to suddenly make money? Okay, they're all beating each other up. I think they're all locked in these rooms. You guys got a gun? So there's the legendary guy and he's locked up, that's good. in beating each other to death. This is not sounding good. What's happening to all these people? I'm gonna have to open up one of these chambers, aren't I? A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. <laughs> the gas. <laughs> you, you can't get away from the gas. <laughs> All right. I am going to, but I'm not not necessarily in that one. I'm parched. You know what? It was funny, but I'm not going to keep this drugged water. Me down. A chemical leak has been detected. Please 
evacuate the building. Now, is it where the legendary guy is? Oh, fucker. Or is it not at all? Do I not even need to be going through this place? So, damn it. Oh. Grilled Van Stag wore off. Hmm. Alright, I've got my shotgun. I think I'm just gonna have to, you know, take some. Some psycho jet. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. If it turns out this is not even what I'm supposed to be doing. shitting me. It uses damage from humans, eh? Weighs a lot isn't terribly valuable. Alright, I'm missing something. So it's not the O is the second letter. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Wait, what? What the hell is it supposed to match with? One from lower, but not any from rocks, so it's not the O. Nothing else starts with an L or ends with an R. Or has a W in it. Maybe, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, it had to be that. E is the fourth letter. Wait a minute, all that just to read a bunch of useless information. And it was not even worthwhile coming in here. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Bastard. Alright, what have I missed? In terms of oh, I missed that. That really obvious fucking. Oh. I suck. Welcome to the Hallucigen Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Oh, I think I've already seen enough. Bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. 
repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. No, stop it! <laughs> You can't get away from the gas. <laughs> you know, I didn't actually want to pick up the gun, I wanted to pick up the razor green. Bugs. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. So the whole thing of this building is just getting around to the other side. No, stop it. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. Oh, okay. Don't have to kill him. Maybe I should though, because gunners are just. Got it. Just an automatically hostile faction. Breathe. It's not like there's anything to be gained by sparing him. Can. Shut up. so that one won't be better. Left leg is 8, right leg is 8, so... Yeah, not likely to be better. Left arm, 12. Could be better. Oh no, it's a polymer combat arm, the left arm, so it's already not... No, it's not better. Oh, all that then. Well, at least he's out of his misery. Please evacuate the building. Yeah, I'll evacuate. So I've got what I came for. Ooh, a minigun. When exactly did this leak take place? They said... I suppose they did say that it would be because of the ventilation and stuff that would clear it out, so maybe that's... failed in the many, many, many years. It's a shame that you can use the same end point but not the same starting point because otherwise you'd be able to get that to that one and then that to that one. Sweet. It was the L. Mainframe status. Please evacuate the building. One administrator is active. No. Oh, 
reset the password so I don't have to do any hacking. Oh, so I can get in here. Right, that's I didn't notice that. How did they get in here? Oh, right through holes. Is this meant to be decontamination? No, obviously it wasn't. Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. So it's supposed to be decontamination, it's just not working. really strong. You know, they're actually used the stealth boy. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. What? Gunner's note and a hallucinogen mission thingy, mission statement, whatever. I see. Mission brief. Evacuate the building. Client classified target hallucinogen. Oh, okay, so this was the gunner's mission was to go here. Invisiwave and eradicate weapons. They probably don't exist. They made shit up, I'm sure. I'm also carrying crap now, so what kind of junk can I get rid of? Gas canister is mostly steel, which I think, yeah, I can do without. Please evacuate the building. Oh, it's, wow! Talk about steel for weight value. I mean, that's 0.9 for 18 steels. So that's definitely a better value. Value to weight ratio. Plasma pistols. But I saw, yeah, they're all just chemical benches, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a trick. It was a magic trick. A Eradicator has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Hmm.
Hmm. At least whoever's in charge has got, you know, some semblance of saying, well, you're not, not succeeding in what you're doing, so you're fired. But they obviously don't have any qualms with illegal, let alone unethical, <laughs> testing procedures. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Oh, okay. A paralysis appears to be permanent, okay. The Mesmatron, I remember the Mesmatron. Yeah, but the Mesmatron was technology, not biological chemical agents. It was a stun gun. Didn't even notice that there, but it's a floor trap. Ah, that'd be one. Oh, gas canisters. Please evacuate the building. I think I've got enough buff tats for the time being. Glass lying around here, too. There must be a mission or something that brings you here to collect these gas canisters. Although they look familiar, maybe I have been in here. Maybe one of the, the story missions brings you here. The Brotherhood of Steel or something. Da, da. Bunch of. Ooh, wait a minute. Strength and fiberglass combat armor. Right arm? Right leg? I, it doesn't. <sighs> leg. Be a right leg. Definitely a leg. Um, it's fiberglass that's already been improved. And it's a pipe weapon, so fuck that. I can swear it's not okay, cleared, but there was it's acting like there was somebody who could detect me. Anyway, well, that's some progress made, I guess. Took me long enough. What's his name? Only really has a. Uh... Well, I could go to Diamond City. Diamond City has a an armor bench. I can. Scrap all of that leather armor. That'll clear some infantry space. I was just thinking, Hangman's Alley only has the weapons bench. I think it's one of the reasons I keep going back to uh, Sanctuary is that Whenever you play a game, you start off, Sanctuary actually has everything that you need in terms of crafting. It's got it's got the fire pit for cooking. It's 
got a chemical station. It's got low res loading. Uh, yeah, it's got the um, yes. Yeah, so you can craft food. You can craft chems. It's got armor and a weapon one. Yeah, and it's got a power armor thing. I'm trying to feel like I think there's a kind of bench that it doesn't have, but I forget what it is. I can swear there's another kind of crafting thing. Let me just addled after breathing in all those chemicals and hallucinogen. to hydrate? thought I needed to hydrate. He's respawned already. Or she in this case. So, a raider respawned, but the turrets didn't. Okay. something. I think I've got a vodka. Yeah, I've got some vodka. That'll do. some scrapping. Then I'll go back to Hangman's Alley to save. I suppose I could buy the house in them. Um... See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. I could buy the house here in Diamond City. I could afford it by now. Keep moving, Scabber. Hey, shut up. I'm about to live here. And don't act like you don't have a living because of scavenging. I mean, look at that armor you're wearing. And tell me you made that. And the weapons you're defending the city with, huh? Huh? Bloody hypocrites. Right, let's just do this scrapping first. I don't necessarily want a charisma hat, but I eventually want to do that. I want to have a hat that has ballistics weave in it, because it's better than a helmet. <laughs> anyway, that should have cleared quite a bit of space, because, yeah, they weigh five each, but they're only worth one leather, which weighs like 0.1 or something. I 
just go and <clears throat> get myself a residence. Because they're closed for business or something. <clears throat> no funny business around the mayor. Got it? Fine. I didn't know it played elevator music. Head on inside, I just came from inside, so... No. Something just wore off. Oh, the booze. Yeah, the, uh... It's doing that slightly buggy thing where it's not displaying the notifications. hate when it does that, because... If you've got a lot of settlements and you're playing and that bug happens, it doesn't tell you when a settlement is being attacked. Then it blames you for not defending it, despite the fact you didn't know it was under attack. Yeah, I hate when it does this. know that <clears throat> given how important uh, cooking is on survival and a lot of cooking things that need water use dirty water for some reason but it's okay because it doesn't come out with an irradiated product <clears throat> I just think it's um, actually I think speaking of which it's good that you can uh, Actually acquire dirty water on survival if you want to. Just go to fill your bottle with a dirty water, water source. Yes, yeah, so I can make noodle cups use dirty water. And again, it's one of those things. The game doesn't tell you that noodle cups also hydrate. They feed and hydrate, so therefore they're probably one of the better items to make. So it's probably, I probably should take a whole bunch of razor grain back to Sanctuary or something and then grow a whole bunch of it there so I can make food. It's like how I used to... Um, <clears throat> when I would play Fallout New Vegas on Survival, not Survival, on Hardcore, I would just... <clears throat> do my best to acquire all of the components, all of the ingredients to make gecko kebabs. 
because gecko kebabs were lightweight, they fed and hydrated. <laughs> so they were one of the best food items in that game because you could have heaps of them. They wouldn't take up a lot of your inventory space. And they would both feed and hydrate. And you would never go hungry because by the time you needed to be hydrated, if you just had some gecko kebab, it would take away all your hunger as well. Have I been into this thing over here? Requires key. Oh, okay. Maybe that tunnel thing that I never went through has the key at the other end. the space to carry some of those packs of cement. I could have made water things at Jamaica Plain on my way through. Oh well. I don't necessarily want settlers there anyway. It's pretty much going to be how it goes with this character in this playthrough on survival because I'm not going for high charisma, so I'm going to have settlements, but I'm not going to be heavily populating them. But it's still convenient to have them, so you've got save points all over the place. about how seriously I want to take this whole Vault 88 thing, because if I want to do some actual building, I might want to leave a whole bunch of crafting stuff there. Oh, that's right, that's that just over there, I think. Is it there, or is it further away? I think that's it, Gunners Plaza. a bit further along. Oh, I just killed the Brotherhood dude. Why is the Brotherhood Knight red? I haven't shot anyone that's friendly. Somebody killed a... Mm. I say somebody, it was one of those. 
But I helped. Ooh, flame of fuel. Oh, fuck off. Relative steel combat armor chest piercing. Oh, is it by default with radiation as well? Probably goes to the same boss helmet. It's fourteen fourteen. If they've got, yeah, this is tempting. Where was the legendary one that I actually killed pretty much single handedly? Bolstering synth left leg. Oh, what? Sturdy combat armor, left arm. Hmm. That might be better. Dead gunners to search. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Super mutants. Why? Are they, I'm sure I cleared this area. Is this? No, this is not a specifically marked location, but it's next to a marked location that's cleared. Bastards. Can I carry that? What's it weighing? Twenty-five. I cannot carry that. What a shame, that would be great for scrapping. You know what, I'm going to take it anyway. And... Yeah, more booze. I've become addicted! I know that noise. <clears throat> I forget if there's a weapon crafting bench at uh, Jamaica Plain. But I'm gonna have a look. Maybe I've got enough crap to build one. That's just a heavy uh, armor thing, a power armor thing. Sorry, all your buddies died, mate. Hey. Oh god, mole rat on the stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. Okay. No radiation. Oh, thanks. Speaking of food on a stick. Right, you do need local leader. 
Son of a bitch. I was thinking, yeah, you might need that, but... Bastard. I don't know where the nearest <sighs> weapon bench is. Maybe, oh, maybe somewhere in this place. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is why I don't end up doing this for really long sessions. It's quite tiring playing this game sometimes. Should I build defenses? Yes. You're new. I don't think we've met yet. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. I'm ready to help with whatever you need. Just say the word. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. I say that, but I don't actually mean anything by it. Um, so, um,
Um, yeah, I'm looking at that thinking I need a corner piece of some court, some some court, some sort. Um, corner bottom, there we go. think that it's technically possible to build there. Why aren't you letting me build there? Alright, fine, fuck it. Let's just make sure that there's enough beds for future residents, since I don't seem to get much choice in whether or not they keep coming in. Chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Happy to be here. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. <laughs> Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. Vault Tech scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to socialize. <laughs> So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just special chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Requires power? Why is everything requiring power? Okay, it can... What? Wait a minute, what? Why is it pointing me here? Ah, that's just the... Bench. Now, if only I knew how to access all of the supposed power this place actually has. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm going to at least need a terminal. And power supply. Well, okay, let's just give ourselves a temporary power supply. Suppressant sounds bad. Mm. 
mood enhancer sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah, they really do make these things sound um, very vault tech but also quite pointless. And first for our team, absolutely no fatalities. I mean, generic caffeination works as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I can just wait for an hour, I suppose. But no, I get to save it if I do this. This soda's better than Nuka Cola. Try it. You'll see. Yes. <clears throat> you here to check up? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mm, what the heck's in that? I had a Nuka Cola once. And this stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Yeah, she's going to be disappointed. Again, because it's not, you know, Catherine. vile enough. Well, it does improve productivity. But really. Yes, and together really. with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. But... You can still redeem yourself. Oh, shut up. The Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Should I bother arguing with her? The Hippocratic Oath is there for a reason. It's the right thing to do. Spare me conventional platitudes. We have history to make. So, <laughs> enter the vault Tech Foraptor. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight, but potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material, <laughs> but the results will be worth it. Where am I going to get that much nuclear material? You're in luck. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. Great. Um... Again, why, why am I being pointed to this? And how the hell do you get this thing to connect with the rest of the... Oh, 
I don't see any connectors. Ah, okay, so I'm just... So I could get a conduit from there and have it going somewhere, probably, maybe. Alright. Well, that's too much effort for right now. I am tempted to see about building defenses for this thing, though. <laughs> it's complaining about there not being any defenses. probably do have to worry about it being attacked as well. Although it's not complaining about lack of food or water, despite the people that are here. Hmm. Just defense. Alright, um... Save that. What the hell? What happened? What, what happened? Oh no! My grilled rad stag ran out. Let's just stick those in there for now. Yes, yeah, so I want to finish scrapping the shit in here, but there's stuff in the way. Oh, I suddenly became hungry, right? not the uh, source of radioactive stuff. Interesting. Myolurks? What?
Oh, get fucked. Never rains but it pours, huh? What happened to the body of that? Oh, it got melted. Better living underground achievement. Obviously, it's just, yeah, collect all of those. this dirt So this is meant to be the water source for the vault, clearly. something else. I know there was something else. I was going about how I was close to being detected. needs some serious radiation protection. Um, it would be under R, wouldn't it, idiot? Alright, I'm addicted to alcohol. Yeah, that happened. There we go. 
go, uranium. Oh, is this going to do the same thing that happened before with that fucking death claw? Nope. Rad scorpions. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Fucking wall, isn't it? <sighs> Just fucking die already. Instigating rolling pin. Yeah, that's totally worth a legendary creature. Down some booze. What just wore off? Thirsty. We have a red stack vodka. What's reducing my strength? This is a nightmare.
You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll be back. But for now, get the fuck out of this place. Giant bloody crabs and scorpions and lizards. Everything's just trying to kill me. All to build a fucking glorified hole in the ground. In fact, you need charisma to get the, well, you need charisma to get the local leader perk twice to be able to build the crafting stations. I'm really struggling to regret not taking charisma. <laughs> sort of crafting thing here or no there isn't I'm trying to think three charisma I don't think I've found the charisma bobblehead not that I remember where it is anyway but I need three more charisma to be able to take local leader spend heaps of perk points to get there. So if I found the Charisma Bobblehead and spent two points, I could get local leader. I could start establishing supply lines, although that's not why I would be getting it, be so I could make crafting stations. This is really frustrating that there are no crafting stations already at these places. another negative point against the settlement system. You have to take charisma in order to make use of this stuff. This stuff that we want you to make use of because we spent a significant part of development time building this thing. technically get away with saying it's optional even though it isn't because to finish the story you absolutely have to be able to build the thingamajig or the teleporting whatever I forget what it's called that's why they give you a settlement by default sanctuary Let's just look at this 16. So I already have 
sturdy. Left arm. What wore off the booze? May as well have more. I'm addicted to it anyway. Keep moving, Scabber. Up yours. Yeah, I've got shitloads on my person. I've got like 90 something bottles of it. Yeah. <laughs> really weighing me down. Now, yeah, this will lower my, wait a minute, my alert queen mistake. Okay. Rad scorpion on the rad scorpion stake. Ribeye stake. Rest of my weapon. That's just my alert eggs. My alert cakes. Cure all addictions? Oh, awesome. To assume that's the uh, booze that wore off, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just grill around stack and tie it. That's in my only issues right now. Cool. Okay. Something must have been reducing my strength. Beginning to think maybe I should uh, investigate. Well, no, I have to be able to sprint to cover distance anyway. I think. I think there's a a mod you can put on leg pieces that makes you move faster while sneaking. I think. You now there's one that makes you quieter when sneaking. Don't really. I suppose it couldn't hurt, but 
It would hurt because it would be taking away extra carry capacity. And you're deep pocketed. And I'd be able to carry even less if I suddenly had a companion. Oh dear. Do not pick anything up. I can't afford to pick anything up. Even though there's free Nuka Cola. bloody things that are continuously respawning, no matter how often I go through them, and yet this thing has never disappeared. Hey there. I can rest easy knowing that Wolf King is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? I need to offload some stuff. Sure. Let's take a look. A little bit of everything. I'm wearing perception glasses, aren't I? Perception cap. I think you can't put things on that though. It's cool then uh unless look at these bloody vault jumpsuits. I should leave them in the vault. They weigh one each. Fucking hell. A lot of the good stuff I've left in the vault. <laughs> no, nope, not selling junk. We'll sell some of this stuff then. Sword, eh? Doors lock. Dirty postman hat. You know, I want to get a. I think it's a sea captain's hat. So plus two endurance. I'd like that as a hat that I can put some stuff in. Yes, three oh eights. Yeah, that'll cook. <laughs> Get some more levels, and I'll be able to uh, actually. Use those 308 to be able to make one 308 combat rifle.
Anyway, get back to Sanctuary, store my crap, do a little bit of housekeeping, and I'll think I'll call it quits for another week. It's been a couple of hours not getting much done. I made some progress, I suppose, but... be different if I didn't feel the need to go back to Sanctuary every bloody time I wanted to end an episode, but that's where I've got all of my massive piles of crafting components. So it's pretty much going to stay the massive pile of crafting components. At least as far as making mods and stuff is concerned, just if I do go about getting more charisma to take local leader, then for the purposes of building settlement stuff, it doesn't matter where I leave it if I make supply lines. But then I have to outfit my... Although... Actually, I think one of the good options that... Yeah, shut up, Preston. I think one of the good options that comes along with Automatron is that you can make robots and use them as your Seems to be growing well. supply traders. You just build good robots. And you don't have to outfit them. Well, I suppose you still have to, you know, it's the same as outfitting people, but It's something that works. Psycho jet. Hmm. Yes. Should make some while I can. And it's using purified water, that's, that's helpful actually. I should have made some Radaway. Although I don't need it anymore really, unless I'm in the field and I've suddenly got a lot of radiation. Refreshing beverage, so it doesn't remove all rads anymore on survival. In fact, it's less effective at removing radiation than Radaway is. It's good for healing, though. Right. Yeah, you can't arm with a military cap, it's a perception hat, it'd be nice. Not entirely necessary, but nice. I think I can totally afford to get sick now, because I must have shitloads of antibiotics. Oh yeah! Take offense to Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. Yeah, I need to be next thing up. It suddenly has a better rate of fire when it's firing 308s. For some reason. I should have done more. 
I hope those raiders pay for what they've done. Calibrated powerful, let's just better critical so I don't do a lot of critical stuff. I don't think I can do much more for the receiver on this thing, can I? No. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat. <laughs> I can make us a Preston <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> but it's already got a pretty short range anyway. So I don't know if I want to. Drum mag. Yeah. About as good as I can make that. So it's my up close weapon. Now, perception, speech, energy weapons, intelligence, I medicine, and strength. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Don't know where the charisma bobblehead is offhand. Anyway, it's some crap I want to put away. I should go hunting some rad stags because rad stag, good rad stag is really useful. Very good healing item and extra carry weight. Got a lot of food. I have a lot of food. Didn't use as much purified water as I thought, so it's still going to be weighing me down. Oh, damn. Three weights can go away, five minutes go away. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, no parallel made eight weight items. No stealth boys? No stealth boys, right? You're never good company. I used to be quite the inventor when I was younger. Now these old bones just can't keep up. It's all sorts of notes and stuff, so I'm just gonna Weigh anything. Oh, must be full. Can it wait? The other thing I need to put away is. Coca-Cola that I have from here. Cool. Infantry space. Well, I think that's, um... Get eight hours sleep so I stop being tired. That's enough out of me for another week of this. I'll uh, get back to it next Friday, maybe. Well, it'll still be more Vault 88 stuff. As I feel like streaming this on a different day, but probably not. That's why it takes ages before I run out of stuff to do. Alright. Thanks for watching, if you did. See you next time. Bye.